Hi YouTube, Roy Marco with Roy Marco's Garage. Today the C50 uh, truck box. I'm going to show you what I did, the process of lifting this box up and what I had to do. One of the things I need to do is determine a height here and in this video you'll see how uh, there was about a five inch difference between where this line was and this line was when the box was sitting directly on the chassis. So uh, I had to make five inch long spacers that you'll see here. I made eight spacers so what I did was I cut them on the chop saw here and after getting them cut I put them on the lathe and I faced both ends and uh, made them exactly five inches and then I welded this washer on the top and that gave me the spacer that I needed to bring the box up so that the cab lines up with the uh, with the box. Of these they're going to be uh, have a washer on the top and then that will make up the five inches and then the bolt will go through here and then through the through that and then into the chassis and that will box down. This will be done like a, a body lift on a 4x4. It's pretty heavy wall steel. But anyway, I got to drill the holes. So I did was I lined the box up on the frame rails where I want it. And I'm just going to go through and follow these holes and drill holes. I don't have a way of moving this box. I don't have big equipment. So um, I'm just going to have to drill the holes and lift it up and put one piece in at a time. There's the uh, washers here and they're tack welded on each side with about a uh, three quarter inch long weld in there and then uh, they just go in there open on the bottom. I do have some work to do back here on the chassis. I need to extend this out which I'll do. Uh, it's one of my next steps to do is bring this out so I can actually mount it to the very back bolt on up here. So this is going to be extended out. This particular block will move from this one to here. I'm not going to add another one. I'm just going to move this one back. and. Um, that's where it's done. So in eight locations is where the box is held down. I don't have a floor in this box yet. Uh, as you can see, the bolts go all the way through from the top here and go down. And I have to figure out uh, wood. I don't know yet what I'm going to exactly do. So any suggestions out there, I'll be willing to take them. I kind of have some idea, but I'm not sure yet which way. i got to do uh, some looking into it. So right now it just doesn't have a floor in it. And I'll give you the length of the bolt that I used. I used a grade eight. Uh, coated half inch bolt which was nine inches uh, in length. I needed the nine inches, five inches to go through here. I needed some to go through the frame. Also I'm running a washer and a lock nut which is a swedge lock style lock nut and then uh, I had to go through the box rail, the uh, cross member and then with a washer and a bolt on the top. So. If I want to go through the wood and use like a carriage bolt when I'm done, that would I would have to replace them. But I may uh, do something a little different so these might stay uh, as they are. So anyway, that's that. That's how the box is mounted. And as you can see, this uh, box is very solid to the truck. I don't have any deflection or anything like that. It's not like the the bolts are weak or wants to tip over. Um, you know, sometimes it's normal on a, a four by four. My old Dodge uh, that you see in this picture here, uh, you'll notice it had a, a three inch body lift in it. It was basically the same thing, but it was a plastic spacer that went between the uh, cab mount and the uh, and the cab, and that brought the whole body up three inches all the way around. So anyway, that seemed to be a solid truck, and this seemed to work for this here. So as you can see here, the body line on this box lines up with the cab. And the box line also follows the body. The cab on these trucks and the box, you know, everything about this is the same as a C10. Uh, just some difference in the firewall in the front, in the front of the doors and the front clip. But everything else is pretty much lines up with this. Um, and then, of course, I talked about when you last saw the update was the box was sitting on the frame. We talked about uh, desired. Okay, so in a uh, short box wheelbase for a uh, C10 half ton is 115 inch wheelbase from center axle to center axle and on a long box it's 127 inch wheelbase. So we'll get the tape measure out and measure this wheelbase and find out exactly what I have here. So center of the front axle to the center of the back axle I'm looking at about 123 three quarter inch wheelbase. Okay and right now I currently have a space uh, about three and a half inches from the back of the cab 
to the front edge of the box. I'm okay with having that kind of gap on this truck, it's fairly big, but if you wanted to get this down to a factory specification, you probably would want to shorten that about an inch and a half, maybe even two inches more. So we would take that off the wheelbase. I took out 44 and a half inches. This thing I didn't have to make do any drive shaft modifications. It's worked out perfectly fine. But I want to show you something about the drive shaft on this. Okay, if you notice on the drive shaft, there's a long spline, and the steady bearing was down here and came to about here. So you saw about that much of the spline. In this case, I don't have the steady the second steady bearing. So all I would require to do is uh, just take this to the chop saw and you could cut a little bit off the end. You have enough spline, you could easily take another two inches out of this drive shaft if you had to uh, without having to have one made. So um, you don't have to necessarily stick to just taking the one drive shaft length out. If I knew that in the beginning, I probably would have taken another two inches out of this truck. But I'm not going to cut it apart and do it now, and I'm happy with it, so I'm going to keep going. The uh, welding on the frame completed after uh, quick grinding and a uh, little bit of paint on there. Uh, some people would comment and say, like, this should be cut at a 45 degree angle, and that could be the case. This is the way I did it with the fact that I had limited tools, jack stands, uh, no crane, nothing to lift this truck up, make it. Uh, to get the alignment so the horizontal sorry this horizontal line here that went between the holes on the chassis to be able to line things up and if I had to make up some difference uh, I don't do this every single day uh, I do have a good industrial welder I tacked it together and then of course I just went back and welded up on the inside as well so I V'd it uh, ground it and made it uh, which I didn't get on film because I just uh, didn't have the battery capacity in my camera at the time and I just had to get the job done. So I wired in the tail lights as well into the box instead of having those uh, temporary lights that I had on the back to bring it into town. And um, I ended up rewiring everything under here and made basically a new harness all the way up under the cab of the truck and joined it up under there. Also one of the things that I did was I put all new brake lines as well as a new brake hose when I shortened the chassis. Also new uh, lines for that two-speed rear end and new hoses. Also I uh, ran some new fuel line. So this tailgate I got, it was, it's beat up, it's not the best, but it'll just do for now. Maybe I'll find a nicer tailgate, but it goes with the theme of the truck not being all one color. I did have a box that I went to go look at that was the same color as the cab and it turned out to be a lot worse than this one and it wasn't worth the trade. So I stuck with this box. So the uh, tailgate, um, I have a video coming out uh, how I did the installation on it. Of course, it's just I didn't have any hardware so I bought some. Uh, but I do need to make some modifications to the hardware because it's very uh, It's got all new hardware plus the rods inside are new, the handle's new, but uh, it doesn't seem to pull enough on the rod, so I don't know if I have to put a bend into the rod, things like that. Okay, so that's everything on this truck for today. little update on getting the box on this truck and at the height, and uh, there's another video about putting this tailgate on that'll be coming out um, and the uh, next couple videos. So I just wanted to update you on where I'm at with this, and uh, hope you like. Please subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and have a great day.